Lisa from Winter Haven. Lisa, you're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Yes, I um, had a question versus uh, wills versus living trust. All right. Um, I'm getting ready to have one of those drawn up for my children, and I'm just not sure which avenue to go. And how old are you, Lisa? I am going to be 50 this year. Okay. Lisa, whether you have a will or whether you have a living trust, all of your goals and intentions can be accomplished. The okay. distinction is, is having a will has nothing to do with avoiding probate. With an ordinary will, your assets will still go through probate. A living trust is all about avoiding probate, Lisa. Now, all okay. you might say, Tom, well, that makes sense. I want to avoid probate. I want a living trust. Well, that is not necessarily the case because Christy and I are always preaching that there are some simple tools about out there available to you to avoid probate. A living trust I consider to be a complex and expensive tool for avoiding probate. So, Lisa, I cannot necessarily say for you that a living trust is the right tool for you. There may be some simpler, less expensive tools for you. Okay. So, Lisa, how old That's are your great. children? How old are your children, by the way? They're they're all grown. Okay. So, Lisa, I would suggest. And so, Lisa, here's what I'm going to tell you: If you call a lot of lawyers and you speak these words, "I want to avoid probate," they are automatically going to put you into a living trust. Why? Because it's three inches thick, and they can charge you a whole lot of money for it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. If you didn't know this, sometimes lawyers are paid by the word. I'm telling you there's right. some simple tools we would love to tell you about, and we do regular workshops on easy ways to avoid probate. Our next workshop this week is going to be in the villages. We're going back to the villages. But, Lisa, if you called us over the phone, or, Chris, how about this? We have a booklet on easy ways to avoid probate. We should we should mail that to Lisa. Lisa, okay. if you can text me or call, and are, are you able to write this number down? Absolutely. 407-808-8398. Okay. You can call or you can text me your name and address, and I will send you the booklet, and that will get you started with some re very good information about the difference of the will and the living trust so that you can start to get a good idea to answer your question and then also included in there will be information about our upcoming workshops and if it works with your schedule we would certainly love to have you come to that because that's where Tom does a great job of giving a good overview of exactly your question the difference between the wills and the trust and like Tom said there's simple tools, but most importantly, what we always want to do with every person is provide what's going to be the right tool for their situation. Right. So, Lisa, we're not necessarily ruling out a living trust for you, but we're also saying it's very likely it's not not needed by you. There are some easier tools to avoid probate. Now, folks, would you like to get our booklet on easy ways to avoid probate? Well, here's a phone number, 407 808 8398. I'm going to give that phone number again, but let's just say this. You want that booklet, Easy Ways to Avoid Probate? Please text your name and address to Chrissy, or when you call Chrissy with that phone number, leave your name and address. That way she won't need to call you back. She can just get that booklet straight in the mail to you. Again, Easy Ways to Avoid Probate booklet. Call or text Chrissy anytime, 407 808 8398. Hey, folks, my name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is Olson Law. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes.